Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy Monday. It is the start of a new week. Are we ready for it? Whether you're ready or not, it's here anyway. <laughs> I am, being that it is October and being that it is Halloween month, I've decided to try a new flavor of Joffrey's. And thank you again to Miss Kay. And I know I'm going to keep saying that, but it was um, a very nice uh, YouTube subscriber and friend who had sent me um, an, an array of Joffrey's Disney coffees, and it was very nice of her to share some of those. I just wanted to recap. Um, I just woke up. It is 8.30 in the morning. I had a pretty good sleep. I, I went to sleep early last night, and um, yeah. After yesterday's ordeal with the bags, which I'll be honest with you, the bag organization did not go so well. I am in a small apartment, so I had to do the best with what I have. Um, also, the fact that I'm going to have to look for something like a different piece of furniture. So I just haven't found anything. It is very overwhelming shopping for a small section in a room as opposed to shopping for furniture for a whole room that would have been the easiest but you know i'm not decorating around it i'm just organizing my life in one spot <laughs> and that's very hard so i am trying for this month of october the not so scary pumpkin brew this is going to be good and the um words are to this the description is a bewitching a be yeah bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla in medium roast so this ought to be good um i already made it i'm just dressing it up right now i will say the smell is there and i have no no milk in it yet or anything but i'm going to be putting my sugars and my milk in so let's see how this goes I can never have a cup of coffee completely black with nothing in it. I have to dress it up a little bit. You know, I mean, we all have that thing. I see people at Starbucks and I see people at Dunkin' Donuts. They go for a shot of this and a shot of that and a, a, a shot of... I, I don't understand that, but I mean, if you need that much energy in a day, I guess go for it, you know? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna need more milk. No, I'm good. Alrighty, are we ready? Let me get my spoon here. Let me give this a stir. Everybody getting ready for Halloween? I'm sure you are. I have not even finished decorating yet. It's already what? October 10th? Whoops. Okay, here we go. Taste is there. I'm getting the taste of vanilla. Pumpkin pie and vanilla. I'm trying to taste the pumpkin pie. I do, however, taste the vanilla. I really do. The taste is there. Let me sit this on my palate like I usually do. Yeah, the taste changes. For me, anyway, everybody's taste is different. Everybody's taste buds are different. The taste changes for me when I leave it rest on my, on my tongue. And there is the blend there. But I'm mostly tasting the vanilla. And that, that vanilla is strong. So the pumpkin, the hint of the pumpkin pie is probably there, but I am not getting that. The taste of the vanilla is overpowering the pumpkin pie. That's what I want to say. But other than that, it is another, it's another hit. It's another good, good coffee. Mm. I am actually, I'm liking it. I really am. I mean, this is my new Halloween mug, as I showed you the other day from Spirit Halloween. I finally washed it out in hot soapy water, and now I'm using it. I do find it 
funny that between the Constance Hatchway, I know they're different companies. This one comes from the company BioWorld, by the way. They also make um, uh, Disney products. They make uh, their own set of Disney bags, which I believe I do have a BioWorld bag. Yeah, I do. Um, I believe I do. I know I have her universe. But anyhow, um, yeah, this cup you can actually put in the microwave and it's dishwasher safe. Constance Hatchaway that comes from a different company, you can't microwave and you, you can't put it in the dishwasher. So, but I will say this is a good cup of coffee. And I am very happy with it. Again, this is Joffrey's Not So Scary Pumpkin Brew. This is a bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla. The vanilla, again, is overpowering everything else in this blend of coffee. But the taste is there. So if you are into that, I would say go for it. I would say try it. Absolutely. It is, tis the season. Um, happy October also. I mean, it's October 10th already. I am going to be getting some Amazon mail today. And that mail is so exciting because I had no idea that they were going to be sending it out this early. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. People got it. People got it earlier. But I wonder if uh, Disney World down there has it or, or Shop Disney will have it. But it, it was a pre-order on Amazon and it was the only place that I could pre-order it. And the pre-order was actually supposed to take place mid-November. But the other day, my husband and I, my husband says, did you see the email? And I said, oh, no, I must have missed it. He says, they're sending it out. I went, are you serious? So it was shipped the other day coming from California and it is, it will be here today as a matter of fact. So I don't know when I'm going to actually do another video because my husband's going to be home for the next few days because he has his days off. So I want to spend those days with him. That's, that's for me and him. Um, Dinner tonight, I don't know if we're going to be going. I don't know. My husband pulled pulled something last week. And, I, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of proud of him for doing that. Because, again, if we don't like something, we will either say it or we will act on that. Um, everything is not for you. If you are not happy with something, you need to say it. That's what we've always been you know, a, a custom, well, I've always been accustomed to, you know, if you're, why, why force yourself, you know? Um, just like as if you were going into a restaurant that if you are not happy with the service or you're not, you know, I mean, completely satisfied if something wasn't cooked right or you do have the right to say that, absolutely. I mean, absolutely, you're paying for it. But in this case last week, and I didn't mention this, but I guess we're going to be going tonight. Um, our server at Applebee's. Um, my husband is accustomed to one server. We go to breakfast at another diner every week, once a week, which we'll probably be going tomorrow. We have the same server. Okay, now they're going to be doing something. Anyway, we have the same server every week for breakfast at one restaurant. We have the same server for dinner at Applebee's. And my husband, we walked into Applebee's last week. And it just so happens that we usually, you know, they, they know us in there. They know how we are. They know that we like one server. It's just, it's just a popular thing. He's, he's a great person. My husband really takes a shining to him. Well, anyway, the server, he was across the room, as a matter of fact. I think they were doing their ending of service and he was getting ready to actually go off the clock. So my husband and I, he says, um, you know, we would like Patrick stay. She says, oh, yeah, she says, I know. She says, but I figured I got to let you in on something right now. She says, um, he's off duty. She says, he's just going off duty now. She says, I'm sorry. So my husband looked at me, and I didn't think he was going to do it, but he didn't. I'm, I'm kind of proud of him. You know, when you don't want to be forced to do something, my husband looks at me. He says, maybe we'll see him next week. I went, okay. So he says, thank you so much to the lady. He says, we'll see you next week. And out we walked. We walked out. Um, that's how dedicated, you know, my husband would be to somebody. And that's, you know, I totally agree with that. Because uh, 
you know, certain servers are just not for you. I, I get that. We have had many servers in there and we are more comfortable with the one server. But um, we waved at him from across the room. <laughs> we said, my husband mouthed him, I'll, I'll see you next week. And, uh, and we walked. And that's how honest that we are with that. And I, I was proud of him for that. Again, if you don't like so if you don't like a movie, you get up and you walk out. So with that being said, I'm having this coffee in my new Disney mug. One more time, Disney Not So Scary Pumpkin Brew from Joffrey's, the official Disney coffee. A bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla. In this one, you will, let me just recap in this one. In this one, I don't really taste much pumpkin to any at all. I do taste the overpowering taste of vanilla. But if you're into that, that's fine. I do, it's a great cup of coffee. I do like it. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. I would, I would actually buy this. I would do this. Alrighty. I'm gonna end this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hope you liked my little um, review. Thank you again to Miss Kay for sending me her, some of her um, extras in her collection. That's wonderful. I will be doing another uh, video with what I ordered from Amazon, uh, probably by the end of the week. So have a great day. Have a great Monday. Good start of the week. I don't know if I'm going out. It seems like a very nice day. It, it's crisp and chilly out and that's good. That's a night. That's a good fall day. It's a good fall day. So I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Love to all. Bye-bye.